break-in period is actually phenomenal. I mean, it's they're broken by the time you hit the corner. I have DFCs on mine. Actually, <laughs> I've got them on two out of my three cars, and the other one's because it hasn't needed brakes yet. But when it does, I'll be using them. We, we used to use some other high-end pads from different uh, competitors and our different suppliers, and sometimes we get comebacks, squeaks, types of noises like that. Um, ever since we switched to DFC, we really haven't had any comebacks, any issues with any squeaking, any shaking. Everything's been solid, no complaints. Usually, people come in and they, uh, they want a good set of brake pads, but uh, the factory option may be a little bit too expensive or maybe out of their price point. And so we don't want to throw anything else on there that will cause some problems down the line. And some people come in with good brake pads from another brand and they don't uh, like how they perform. They may cause squishy pedal, you name it. So the DFCs have been a good brand for us. Uh, we started uh, selling more and more of them and our clients have been enjoying the quality that DFC has been providing because they just seem not to fail. I haven't warranted a single brake pad yet and I've probably done about maybe or so uh, many brake jobs with DFCs and uh, our clients just love the price point. You get the best bang for your buck. I told them uh, uh, we use aftermarket DFC, 3000 and 5000. 5000 exactly like a factory one, the original OEM, and the 3000 is aftermarket. Uh, uh, uh.